Okay, welcome back everyone, but uh, we're not in my um, Technic world, well we still are in Technic, but not in my world. This world I made because um, someone asked if I could do a tutorial thing again, like how to get power and energy in Technic, and I'm going to just be doing industrial craft stuff because that's what I know what to do. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to get started and walk you through just about every single way to get power for your machines. And yeah, so we'll start here with the cables. There are a bunch of different cables. You have the ultra low current cable, which is just 310. You know, your normal copper, then you can insulate it. Uh, gold. Gold can be insulated twice, so here's one. And then two. Then we have glass, which is the most expensive, and. Well, I, I probably should have said this, but, um. Copper can, I completely forgot, copper can go up to 32 EU per tick, I believe, and gold can transmit 128. Uh, if you have it uninsulated though, if you walk near it, it shocks you, so you want it insulated. And just double insulate it, because one insulation will still shock you, but double won't. That's only for gold and higher. Glass can transmit up to 512 and doesn't shock you, so... You're good with there, but it's pretty expensive. There's two recipes where you can put redstone here, but you only get four. But this one's better. And then you have the high voltage cable, which is three refined iron, and that transmits 512 to 2040 something. And you can insulate this as well, but hold on, let me get some more rubber. It's better off, oops. It's better off just to insulate it to the max, which is three, but it's mislabeled. Here, watch. This would be double insulation, and this would be triple, but it's mislabeled as four. But this is what you want, and this thing is very thick wire. And it won't shock you, and it's used in um, nuclear reactors. Or, well, that's what I use it for. Okay, so let's go to the first thing that you'll probably make is a generator. And there are a bunch of... oh, hold on. These things I set up to... um kill these flying wisps for me. They shoot arrows, that's all. It's an equivalent exchange item. So hold on, let me go and turn all these on. And get rid of all the slimes. Okay, I'm back now, and I should have, um, yeah, they're all turned on. These are really cool. They're on a, uh, I'll explain them some other uh, video. So we have all of our cables all the way up to the, yeah. Okay, so now, what was that? Oh yeah, our very first, um, thing that you'll probably make as soon as you make Technic is a generator. Generator is made by crafting uh, using making an iron furnace, which is also made by just eight iron in a square like this or like this. Then you put three refined iron and then a battery. I don't think it needs to be fully charged, and you get a generator. Or you can do it this way: battery, machine block, furnace. Same way, same, different way, same object. And um, this is a bat box. This is um, that holds all your power. And to create that, you'll just need. Three batteries, some planks, and a copper cable. Now, a generator will eat up any fuel source. So, I have a couple here. Just about anything right here. And maybe some other things. And we'll create energy, which you'll see here. And that will either can go to a bat box, or... If I can just um, cut out this wire. So, like, yeah, I'm going to put some coal in this one. So we'll put some coal in this one, and... I uh, eat up the coal and start creating energy. And I think one coal is like 3600 energy. So pretty good. Or you can uh, recharge items. So we'll put some coal in here. Oops. Get a battery out. Throw it in the top. And it'll charge up the battery. Pretty good. Most items that require a charge can just be thrown in a generator and bam. You can charge it up. So yeah, there's that. Um, let's see, so we cover this, so these are generators, and <clears throat> if you see my uh, videos, you'll see I use this basically for powering my uh, diamond factory, because it's cheap, and I just throw charcoal with the condenser in here. Now the next uh, thing we have is a um, geothermal generator, which runs on, oh wait, which runs on lava buckets or lava cells, but uh, to make it, you need two cells. A generator like from before, some refined iron, and some glass. And you get a geothermal generator. So for this thing to run, you get some 
You can have it, you can pump lava into it with the build craft pump, or industrial craft, I'm not sure which one it is, whatever it is, and you can funnel lava into it like this, or you can just put, you know, these in here and it will fill up and yeah, and this thing's maxed out, so here, let me just, just show you how fast it goes, and it's filling up right now. You can just put it in a bucket or cells, and cells are a better thing because, it's a better option because cells stack. So yeah, well, and I believe it burns the bucket as well, so, and yeah, so there you go. These are, as I figured out, are actually better, don't worry about that thing, are better than the uh, generators, because it just produces power way faster than the generators can. So I might, uh, in my videos, or my world, I'll switch, I might switch out the generators for the geothermals. So uh, yeah, there's those. These are, you know, early ones that you'd use to just power your simple machines. Now this thing, I didn't even know about it until I looked it up on the wiki. It's a uh, water mill, right? Where is the, uh, here it is. Okay, no. okay. see a water mill is very cheap, and you get two of them for one generator, so that, that's even better. Uh, but for them to uh, connect, you need that tin cable there. See it? Oh, it's a different type of cable. That's just 310, and you get ultra low. Because... The amount it gives is extremely low, like here. I mean, whoops, did I break it? Ooh, I hope I didn't break it. Hmm. Hmm, what did I do? Whoops. Hmm, this should be going. Yeah, let me break the wire and put it back on. Hmm. Where's that? Ultra low current cable. Let's see if I accidentally broke it, it looks like. Oops. Let's see, that should fix it. Okay, I don't know what I did, but it was working. And, to tell you the truth, it's not really worth it. It's extremely slow amount. It's really, really slow. And did you just all of a sudden break down? I think you did. Water mill. I'll just make a new water mill. see if that fixes it. Yeah, there we go. It's, but, ugh. It's better than solar panels if you have, like, tons of them, because all you do is throw them in water, connect some cable to it, and it'll go forever, basically, but it's really, really slow, so you're gonna need tons of them. But that's why they're also cheap to make. So, yeah. I won't use them, because, well, I got solar panels and generators and stuff. So now we're on to regular sol solar panels, and you've all seen this in my video, and if you haven't, well, now you're seeing this for the first time. It's basically a bunch of solar panels. Here they are, this is how you make them. Coal dust, which uh, you macerate coal in a macerator to get coal dust. And here's so some glass, some electronic circuits, which are made like this. Copper cable, refined iron, redstone. If you don't know how to get don't know how to get refined iron, you just smelt up normal normal iron. Right here. I have no idea where you get that. And it's getting dark again. Okay, and each solar panel gives one energy per tick. And it's like, I think there's 20 ticks a second or something like that. I don't know. Some long lines of that. But it's uh, pretty fast, actually. Okay, so that's just your regular solar panels, your cheap ones. And I have two of these flowers in my... Uh, world. Don't worry about that wisp. That's from Bonecraft and they hate me for some reason. Let me turn this on. And it'll just start launching arrows at anything that moves that isn't me. Okay. So now we over here we have a low voltage solar panel which is I only have one of them because one of them is equal to eight of these. So yeah. And to craft it would be eight solar panels and a low voltage transformer which I will explain later but um yeah they're, this thing is really fast see it's almost got the same speed as this I think and a little bit slower okay and what is this oh yeah how to make the transformers right here two copper cable three copper and some planks and you combine that with this and you get a what's that low voltage and all these machines up to this point use copper cables, well, except for water mill, which uses tin. 
but um, because it's that low of a current. So these all use copper. All these use copper cable. Nice, cheap, easy to get. But now we're getting into the bigger things that use. What is this? Hold on. This is a medium voltage. I have a sign here. Medium voltage solar panel puts out 64 EU per tick, I believe. And here's the MFE. It's maxed it out already. So let me just get a new one. Show you how fast it goes. Dude, maybe I should have stayed in creative mode. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, and double insulate your gold cable always, because if you put one insulated, it'll shock you. Here, let me see if I can show that. Do I have single insulation? I do. Okay. See how it's shocking me? Yeah, that's no fun. We don't want that. I've, I've got this cool armor on, so I don't take damage. So just double insulate your gold cable. Just never single insulate. I don't know why you want it single insulated. Unless you're doing some elaborate defense grid with wires. But whatever. And yeah, this thing is equivalent to eight of these low voltage ones. So obviously it's much faster. And this is an MFE because you need a MFE to accept its um, current because these bat boxes only accept up to 32. EU per tick, and this thing right here is producing double than that, so you need an MFE to hold it. And an MFE holds, what is it, 600,000? Yeah, a bit better than your 40,000. And God, these things will not die. Did I turn this off? Okay. So here's your MFE. You need double insulated cable, uh, machine block, and energy crystals, which are made just by combining redstone and diamond. And you get an MFE. And then to produce this, you may get eight low voltage and an MV transformer. And you get one ugh, medium voltage. And finally, to get a uh, medium voltage transformer, just very simple. Double insulate gold cable and a machine block. Probably the cheapest one I've seen, to tell you the truth. Okay, now we're on to our high voltage solar panel. The um, maximum voltage solar panel we have and here I need another MFSU this thing's freaking full Ooh. MFSU V MFSU now let me just break this and this thing goes really fast I mean insanely fast because it's given out 512 EU per tick I believe and that's why we need to actually upgrade to gold cable or no not gold glass cable because that can uh, accept 512 and that's why we need this thing as well because if we place an MFE it explodes. So let's see, to make the um, high voltage transformer, same thing, 8 of these and a high voltage transformer or high voltage solar panel. Uh, let's see, to make the um, high voltage transformer you need electronic circuit which is made by this, I think I showed that earlier, energy crystal. V transformer, which is over there, and this um, high voltage cable. High voltage cable is made from three refined iron, like I showed earlier. Showed earlier. Ugh, the words are getting all mixed up. And to make glass fiber, yeah, glass fiber cable, as I showed earlier. Blah blah. You could also put redstone for the silver ingots, but redstone's more important, in my opinion. Also, to make the MFSU, you'll need a MFE, Advanced Machine Block, which is made by... No, I didn't show that. Okay. So, some advanced alloy, some carbon plates, and machine block, and advanced alloy is... Make a mixed metal ingot, throw it in a ugh, compressor, and I'll show this later. And carbon plates are... Let's see, how do you get four coal dust? You make this thing. Get two of these, you get carbon mesh. Throw it in a compressor and you get a carbon plate. Pretty expensive. And this is you just take a circuit and surround it by this stuff. Lap lapis, redstone, glowstone, and yeah. Mighty expensive, I'd say. Oh, and here's how you make a lapitron. One energy crystal, six lapis, and two circuits. But it holds a million EU and no, 10 million EU. Ooh. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 
three. Yeah, okay, that's a lot of EU. And the entire time I've been talking, explaining this machine, we've made 1.5 million, which will really just power just about everything ever. If you had like three of these, you'd be set probably, but okay. And now here we have the windmill. Well, actually, it's up there because I'm at layer 10 because it's a flat world, so I didn't even know this thing existed either, so. I'd get all the way up to like layer 70 or something. Yeah. And this thing is just, yeah, they're, they're not that reliable at all. I mean, they're they're not worth it in my opinion. And if you had a couple thousand of them, I mean, that's slow as hell. Very slow. Oh, and I forgot how you should make these. Okay, to make a windmill, you would, um, a generator and four iron very cheap just not really worth it though it's pretty slow if you had a couple hundred you might get something good out of it but I don't see it okay and okay here are the transformers so I just want to explain these transformers then we'll go over there and explain uh, nuclear reactors the fun part yeah so here I have a high voltage solar array now, if I were to just hook up a bat box to this, just straight off of it, it explodes, right? If I hook up an MFE to it, it will probably explode. Let's see. Hook up an MFE, it explodes, because the voltage is too high. So, you send it through a high voltage transformer, and this will lower it down to, um, I don't know, I think that's giving out 512, maybe like... I think it goes 512, 128, and 32. Here, actually, let's check. EU reader. We have this thing. Save me a lot of guessing. So, sorry, new measurement. You let it go for about three or four seconds, and this thing. Really? Oh, because this thing's full, that's why. So, we'll put that box there. 40. So this thing's pu pumping out a good amount, like 128, there we go. Then you send it through here, and it's, let's start a new measurement. And it's, well, it's actually empty here. Let me get an MFSU to uh, really read it. There we go, this thing powering up, yeah. So here we'll let it sit. So it's about 128, same thing. You don't really need this one here, I realize that, but I just want to show you it. If you, you have to use this though for a nuclear reactor, because that thing, I think, pumps out 2,000 EU per tick. I'll check it when we're over there. So you would use, a, use this for a nuclear reactor, so this does nothing right now. But you send it through the medium voltage. What the hell? No. Dude, hold on. Okay, it's dead. Sent through a medium voltage one, and out on the other side, it comes out as still 128. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Hmm. Well, it's a constant 128. Then you send it through the low voltage. Oh, because this thing can only accept. Hmm. Okay, I think I got this now. Now if I start a new measurement. Really? Hmm. Well, I guess all these, uh, or, no, because then, well, it just lowers it to allow, this is a medium voltage, whoops, I should not have done that, I forgot that's on. Well, like I showed her, come on, grab it already. Oh, there we go. Ah, crap, it's the wrong way. There we go. Hmm. It just lowers it down to its maximum. Because, like, if I hooked up a machine to this, it would explode. So, you just gotta lower it down. So, I believe I can hook a machine right off of this one. So, let's just try a... Well, yeah, because it works with a bat box, so it'll work here. Oops. I don't have my glass. Glass. Hmm. Let's see if I tried hooking up a compressor. Let's see if that will work. No, 
see that explodes. Okay. So I do need to lower it down. Do a low voltage one. Okay, that's confirmed. Good there. Let's get away from here before I break anything else. Okay. So now we're gonna do the um ooh, what's with my mic? So we've covered, you know, your basics and well that's it. This thing's really expensive, so yeah. This thing, I think, if you add up all the items, it equals, I think the wiki said around 2 million EMC. Uh, which, you know, with, I'm talking about equivalent exchange here, because that's what I mainly use. And, that's really expensive. Because a red matter, so I find it, it's only worth, it's like worth 6 of those. So, that thing right here is pretty damn expensive. I will say. So now, I'm going to explain everyone's favorite item that everyone wants to build, the nuclear reactor. To build a nuclear reactor, you're going to need all this advanced machinery, except for a generator, reactor chambers, advanced alloys, circuits, and yeah, so, to make, here, let's see, where is the, okay, to make an advanced, no, that's the integrated blading, okay, I think it's over here. Open it's uranium. Okay, so yeah, here we go. We have some. You make mixed metal ingots, right? So just some refined iron, some bronze, and some tin. You take these, you throw them in a compressor, and bam! This is how you get advanced alloy. Okay. Then what's this? Okay, that's something else. So that's how you get your advanced alloy for this great machine. Uh, let's see. So that's covered. I covered how to make these. Same way. Like this. Generator we know how to make. So let's try and make a reactor chamber. We're gonna need four advanced alloy. Here, hold on. Four advanced alloy, a machine block, which is just simply eight refined iron, integrated reactor plating, and inter integrated heat disperser. Well to make reactor plating, you just take four copper and an advanced alloy and bam. Reactor plating. But to make the heat disperser, you're gonna need two copper an advanced circuit, uh, one of the, one of, whoops, one of these, and some coolant cells. To make coolant cells, we'll just walk over here, or run, and first you're going to need a water cell, so you get a water cell from water bucket, an empty cell, you take that, you throw it in any extractor, and that's your coolant cell. Pretty simple. Okay, so where were we? So that's how you make the heat disperser. You get all those, you combine them together, and you get a reactor chamber. Then you do it another time, so you get two of them, combine them all together, and you make a nuclear reactor. Uh, that's how you make a electronic circuit, advanced electronic circuit, heat disperser, just walking through them again, in case it went too fast, copper advanced alloy, here. Let's highlight all of them. And doop, 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 doop. and then finally we have the nuclear reactor. Okay, now a nuclear reactor requires a couple things here. Let's go over to our nuclear reactor, which I built very far away in case things went wrong. And I'm running three times as fast because of the um, quantum boots that make you run three times as fast. Okay thing is firing away. Okay, here is my nuclear reactor. Inside the middle is the uh, nuclear reactor, and I have surrounded it nuclear uh, chambers. Some, re no, reactor chambers, that's what they're called. Okay. So I have some reactor chambers, and there is a ton of slimes behind me. Or something. Holy crap, there is. Let's turn this thing on. Okay, I should take care of that. Sorry about the sounds, I will, um, um, lower them or something. Okay, sounds off for now. Okay, now we can continue in peace, hopefully. You're just, ow, just shut you off, you're making too much lag. Okay, so, a reactor in the middle, reactor chambers around it, and this is the, uh, high voltage cable with, uh, full insulation, or three, whatever it is. Here, this thing, right? This thing, I told you before, is very thick. 
huge cable, right? And this is how I've set up the um, nuclear reactor. Just these spots I need to put in uranium cells. I just wanted to show you this first before I put them in, right? So now, this is how you want to set it up. Disperser, coolant, disperser, coolant, blah, blah, blah. All the way around like this. Okay, so now let's go make some uranium cells. As soon as I run over here. Okay. Now the uranium cells is very simple. You take some uranium ore. I believe you throw it in a compressor. Yep. You get refined uranium. Well, just... Eh, how many do I need? Ten? Yeah, ten. Okay, so now we got ten of them. We combine them with some empty cells, which is very... Oops. Gotta hear you. This and this. And bam, ten uranium cells. Pretty easy to make. Very powerful though. And that's just gonna keep going. Okay, so now let's um oh I can turn on my sound again. What was that in? Three, four. Okay. So now got him out shoot. Oops. Still floating. Ah, God damn it. Okay. I don't know why there are so many mobs, but they just hate me today or something. Wow, it's only been a half hour. It took me two hours to set up this map. And I'm already at the end in 30 minutes. Wow. Okay, so now we're going to throw in the uranium. And if everything goes correctly, this thing should not explode. I should survive. And I should be able to get power. Also, here's the high voltage transformer I was talking about. Which will be going straight to the MFC. Yeah. MFSU. And yep, so here we go. Hear the Geiger counter going. Kind of. It was going for a bit. I will put this in this. And there we go. It should take a little bit to heat up, but that's going pretty fast. And that's how you build a nuclear reactor. This is a safe one, I believe. I don't know how you maintain it really. I just kind of showed you how to make it. And yeah, see how it's warming up? Getting faster and faster. Still, that thing's going really damn fast. And, well, that's basically industrial craft power for dummies. In a half hour video. Showed you. Hmm, I don't trust that. I probably should move that thing over. Crap. Oh well. Um, let's see how this is doing. Yeah, so. There you go. That's a nuclear reactor in a nutshell. Good, and eh, kind of expensive though. I'm not gonna t use it because of the chance of, you know, exploding. You know what? While we're here, let, let's just make one explode. Well, I've got the uh, resources. Actually, I can just spawn them in. So we're gonna make a nuclear reactor explode and show you what not to do. So let's go far away from my. St oh, here we go. A nice village. They won't mind. Let's put a nuclear reactor next to them. They won't mind. Okay, so let's go to the center of town. As soon as I loot the blacksmith. Yeah, he's useless. Okay, so we're gonna go to the center of town. Ish. Yeah, this looks like center. So let's get a... Reactor. Nuclear reactor. Some of these. And then a bunch of uranium cells. I mean, I'm just going to fill the thing with uranium and I'm pretty sure that that should make it explode. Okay, so now we need some... Let me just load this. Uranium cells. I just got to keep clicking. That's annoying. This thing should explode soon, so I've just got to fill this up as fast as possible. That's why you hear me spam clicking. Is there a way to like... Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm getting hit now from... Okay, it exploded, and... Yeah! There's all the cells and everything. <laughs> but, um, that's a pretty big hole. 
and if this was in um you know not a flat world this would actually probably be really deep so um that's how you explode a reactor and that's a really big hole and then I think this thing I think the explosion goes down I don't know maybe 20 or possibly 30 layers so yeah pretty damn dangerous and the quantum armor survived all of it so I am amazed right now to tell you the truth I'm honestly amazed that the quantum armor can survive a nuclear bomb or nuclear reactor explosion so that's about it for this um, video just quick power walkthrough tutorial what to do what not to do um, this thing's still up I believe because the glass is still there let's see if it's maxed out it's been a couple minutes it's it's decent it's constant and it lasts a while a long while yeah, this will last for a long time so um HV cable Okay, um, that's it for now. Just someone wanted me to make a tutorial, so I said, hell, wh uh, why the hell not? So I did it. And that's everything you need to know about industrial craft power. There's also red power, power, and I think build craft, but I'm not um, really good with those, so that's why I didn't include them in this one. And, yeah, so... I believe I went through everything. Solar panels, water mill. Yep, yep, yep. All the solar panels. The transformers, which work, I guess. And yeah, that's about it. Um, you guys are welcome for this tutorial, I guess. Whatever. Just watch it if you need help. I, I don't know. This is the first tutorial I've ever made. Tell me how I did. I don't know. I think I went through everything pretty well. I don't know, leave a comment, what I forgot, whatever, and I'll come back to it again. Or whatnot. Okay. Um, have a good time watching this. And if you're not, leave a comment saying why. Or whatever, rate it how you want. That's it. Goodbye, everyone.